This so is this technically is the third bedroom, but I made it my home office. Yeah. Um, so we, this is where I, I, I work most of the day and uh, make my calls and do my do my business. Yeah. 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 yeah so tell me about some of your. Um... So. Um, have you ever heard of the Guinness Arena in Boston University? Yes. Well, that's my great uncle, my grandfather's brother. And uh, I have a closeness to him, even though he passed away in 1955. Um, I've been trying to continue his legacy over the years. And uh, we have a foundation in his name that's been in existence. Uh, we give scholarships out to high school student athletes in Lynn, in the North Shore area, as oh, well as Boston. And the arena was gracious enough to name the hockey arena after him in 2005. And we have a stat uh, bronze statue of him out in Com Ave. There's a wooden statue at the Sports Museum. And just recently, yeah. which happened to be here today, yesterday was the unveiling of the new uh, Super Bowl, high school Super Bowl trophy, named it in his honor for the Gans Trophy. Really? So like, wow. like the Lombardi Trophy, right. now these kids are gonna get a trophy uh, each year to hold each school and uh, to, to present and the winner each each team winner will get the trophy for the year and it's going to be named in his honor oh, so that's it's beautiful. kind of a special thing now he's your he was your great uncle. great uncle my grandfather yeah. and and Harry were brothers and Harry was the oldest and Harry was the youngest yeah now had you met him first I had never met Harry just Harry like the yeah. stories yeah and we did a documentary on his life uh, a few years ago that was on channel 2 and we've done a book, Dick Johnson from the Sports Museum. So we have a lot of different elements of, of his life out there to sports fans as well. You know, sometimes when somebody um, is so talented and their life is ended so quickly, so early, there's mm -hmm. there's a there's a whole mystique about it right. that just carries sure. on. It's yeah. great that you're just carrying But I did on meet too. Ted Williams. You did? <laughs> I a few times. <laughs> nice. And uh, Ted and Harry were very close. They, Harry was um, at a number. Uh, number four and Harry Bat and uh, Ted bought it bat batted number three. Oh, okay. So yeah. they 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 were both uh, great hitters, obviously, yeah. and uh, friends. Yeah. So he told me some great stories about them. Yeah. That's cool. And both your parents are still alive. Yes, yeah. They and yeah. they're right here in the city. Yeah. Yeah. City people too. Yeah. Well, they're suburban. They're from yeah. Lynn, but oh. uh, they they I moved them into the city as they got older to yeah. be closer. That's awesome. Yeah. That's really great. This so, is a very, and how about horses? Do you do horses, horses? Horses, I was into horse and racing horses and dogs for, for a little bit years ago, and that was one of my better horses uh, that I had, and we won a big race at Belmont Park. It looks so, like a pastel, beautiful. Yes, a pastel, wow. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Really, the detail's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. And all your, your memorabilia all around, too. Yes, this is all the stuff um, I collected through my other past life of, of a baseball team. I, I, was, um, I owned a baseball team. Um, oh, you my did? My family was involved with a double-A team in the Cleveland Indians. Okay. And these are my collections that I've just caught over the years. Yeah, so when I asked you if you're definitely Boston, you well, definitely are, but... <laughs> I'm definitely, well, I uncle played for the Red Sox, yeah. but I do have a, a, a you know, a sweet spot, sweet spot for, for the, by the Indians. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Well, this is nice, a really nice, commanding view yeah. of the common. Mm -hmm. It looks so small from up here, it does, honestly. Doesn't it? The city, look, it doesn't look as big as it is. Yeah, not as from daunting this, and, yeah. you know, cow paths that yeah. have turned into roads. It's, sure. It seems pretty cool. Yeah. So you mentioned to me about, you know, Equalizer and Denzel yes. and the movie. <laughs> and so, you know, they filmed this a couple years ago and I had some guests stay over and, you know, they left and I just went through my, you know, I was cleaning the, the bedroom, guest bedroom. Yeah. And uh, I pulled up, up the drawer and I'm like, what is this? I'm like, So it was kind of cool, I wanted to show you. So this is the exact script from the scene no. that Denzel, you know, was writing on. <laughs> and, uh, you know, McCall was his character. So- Oh, I don't have my this, glasses this, on, this, let me this think. Was a, this was the whole three minute scene that he left. Probably didn't leave him. He left, probably left it on the accident. McCall's but. eyes soaking in the scene. <laughs> Three large males and junior. Coffee table littered with bottles of alcohol. The blister parks of... I don't know my glasses. What's that? <laughs> Rolfenol. Discarded Rolfenol. in the trash can. <gasps> Heart turns back. McCall now inside. Hands McCall a black credit card. Uh, that was the Uber. <laughs> he was the Uber, he's the Uber driver coming in. Oh, okay. And the kids were paying for it. Now I gotta get popcorn now you gotta and see watch it. this exactly. movie. Exactly. No, it's, it's gonna have a whole it's, it's, different yeah, it's a feeling. Yeah. So I, it was kind of cool that he left it there, and then it was like a couple years later, and I found it, and then I figured I'd show you that this was the actual. Uh, so what are you gonna do with this? Just I, don't know, I just kept it. He had it. He had it with his. Uh, left it with his. Uh, his New York Times uh, magazine with Jay Z. So it's kind of cool. I just <laughs> kept, kept it. That's awesome. Yeah. Talk about a little piece of history here now too. 
All right, oh, and a little extra notes. Yeah, he, he wrote in his notes, but he was very, cool. when he was here, he was very serious, you know, he was oh, yeah. hands-on and really, you know, just sticking to his character. Mm, mm. You know, he, he was so strict that he even put McCall on the door to like, so we actually- yeah, keep him in the mode. Keep him in the mode. Yeah, wow. it's pretty, pretty cool. So it was a week, it was a week shoot here. There's two days to a set and then two days to break it down and then, excuse me, two days to- And how big was the crew? Oh, there was over 50 to 75 people just in the unit and then another, probably another 20 outside, outside in the hall. Wow, yeah. I'm gonna have a whole different take on it. Hart takes a smug beat. Yeah. He's a bad dude in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting popcorn, I'm gonna yeah. watch it. I'm yeah. gonna think of it. So just a little something I yeah. wanted to share. That's awesome. Yeah. What a find. Yeah. Right? That's excellent. So we won uh, five championships, Eastern Leach AA championships while we had our team and won uh, ALCS Indians championship. So those are our rings that we've I've had. Well, you don't have enough fingers for all those rings. Uh, I don't wear them. But, yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and look at all these balls too. Yeah, these are collections of stuff from my uncle and stuff that people that I met and through the years with, with, with uh, baseball and just collected different sports figures and some non-sports non figures. I used to always have somebody that I met that I, that I enjoyed that just signed a baseball. It's kind of what I did. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of one of my fun ones was uh, Buster Douglas Jr. Beat Mike Tyson. Oh. Biggest he, upset of the world. He, he, said, he, 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 he came, he threw the first pitch out, spent the day, uh, game with me and got friendly with him and his trainer and stuff like that. It was good, yeah. good, good memories. Yeah. You were up some elbows, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, a little bit, but it was more about the connection with yeah. the people, you know. Yeah. Chrissy Hine from the Pretenders. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that's unexpected. Yeah. She, <laughs> Chrissy Hine, yeah, did yeah. she throw the first ball out she too? She did. She's from Akron. Oh, is she? And that's where the team was, yeah. Okay. Yeah. A little history, a little contemporary, yeah. a little bit of, you know, living little, in the present. Try to be a little of everything, right? Yeah. Let's try to be as well-rounded as a person. So we all can, right? Yeah, exactly. I asked Melanie, what's his last name? She told me, and then I went and I said, oh, so that's why yeah, I figured out okay, you're a boxer. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I saw this and I was like, oh, he's a documentary. Maybe I don't have the right person. Are you a documentary producer? I'm not, but I, did, I did work with Clark Booth, mm -hmm. who, who's uh, passed away, unfortunately, but he was Channel 5 for a long time. Yeah. And uh, we got together and we together did a documentary and it was a two hour documentary and uh, wasn't sure who, who was gonna take it or if anyone would. And uh, and uh, Channel Two uh, met with me, and uh, it was a great fit, and they were c gracious enough to take it, unedited, uncut, and just took it as is the two hours because PBS is very strict on time restraints, and uh, they usually just take sixty minutes or fifty-seven. And minutes. they did the whole two hours. They did the two hours, wow. and they ran it th uh, more than once, so it was. It was, you uh, must have learned a lot during that process. Though, I too. learned a lot about my uncle. I learned yeah. a lot about filming, a lot about editing in the process of it. I worked with Kramer Production out of Norwood. Oh, yeah. They yeah. did a great job. Yeah. Um, so I was in the studios a lot and um, did a, a, went to a lot of the interviews. So I learned a lot about him and yeah. I learned about, about production. So it was kind it's of magic, neat. isn't it? Yeah, it was awesome. A lot it's of work. It's kind of fun, like a grand manipulator of yeah. everything. <laughs> well, you know, right? you're just constantly learning mm -hmm. different things. So it's, you, you have an appreciation for all of this stuff behind the scenes because people right. think that it just goes to, you know, on a DVD. It's not that easy. <laughs> you're talking yeah. to me. <laughs> I know, yeah. it's true. And then just so many um, places we go and people we meet, and it's a constant, constant sure. learning. Yep. Yeah, it's Absolutely. awesome. So, I can't imagine another life, really. Yeah, yeah. true. That's really great. So, yeah, what so a great that, thing to have. What did your parents out. say when they Oh, they were great. We had a big uh, movie premiere at Lowe's Theater. We had we, we had one theater and we sold it out and then we had to get another theater. So mm -hmm. it was great. And um, I have a close connection with the Sports Museum and I'm on the board of directors and uh, all the proceeds went to the Sports Museum. Aww. So it was, it, it was a win-win. So for everyone you. was happy and it was great. I can't believe it was 2012, what's that? Nine years ago. Yeah, time flies, right? Yeah, well, eight, seven years ago. It did. Yeah. <laughs> Really great, really cool. I so like this it. is his contract, mm -hmm. one of his contracts he got wow. assigned when he got assigned with the Red Sox um, that I found. Somebody um, told me it was on eBay and ended up getting Handsome. It. Very, very good, handsome man, good looking man. So tragic though, when you think about it. I mean, the impact of if something like this happened today, I mean, it was a big impact then, but yeah. now it would have been just devastating yeah. for everybody, you know, so. And everyone would know. Oh, and they viral, did it back then, yeah. You know? I yeah. Mean, so, I mean, 
the, they just they put the relationship to like a Reggie Lewis, you know, and tripling it. You know, that's the impact that he had at that time. Yeah. So because he was a local, you know, too. Oh, yeah. You know, so. And you know the Boston people there. Yes, sure. <laughs> They're loyal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> loyal to yeah. a fault. Yeah. Exactly. So wow. that's a kind of a unique thing. It's hard to find. Mm -hmm.